Right, next up, and something I get asked a million questions on, and that is using one of these babies, the bestest possible loop tires that you can get. And obviously with pole fishing, and of course lots of waggler fishing as well, uh, anytime you're using normal mono, a loop is a massively, massively important thing. And a fussy so on them as sexy as possible. So that is what this basic video is gonna be, simply using a loop tire. So, straight on with it, and what I've done quickly, just for demonstrative purposes, so we can see it nice and sexy, I've stolen some line off one of Andy's rigs, and what I'm gonna do is show you how I tie a loop with it. Yeah, whether it's me hook lengths, um, the loop at the top of my rig, or the loop that actually takes the hook length at the bottom of the rig as well. We always want nice, small, I like uniform rigs as well, uniform loops. I like my loops to be pretty much as small as possible that still allow me to pass a hook through them, obviously, when I'm attaching a new hook length. But I like them to not be... I don't want my loops huge that take up a big amount of space in my rig, if that makes sense. I mean, by using loops that are probably 8 mil, I've only got 16 mil of my rig that I can't put a shot on sort of thing. So the loops are quite unobtrusive and don't get in the way. But using the loop tire, that's the most important thing. So firstly, we've got me length of line, whether that's top of my rig, bottom of my rig, hook length, whatever, and I get the loop. Yeah, so I want plenty of tag end, first thing, and I just simply want to make a loop. Yeah, pinch that in between me, um, obviously right-handed, me thumb and me first thing. What's that called? What's a four finger? Is that your fourth? I don't know, but anyway, that finger. Index finger is that. There you go, posh name. So there's me loop, nicely formed. Yeah, ready to go with a lovely tag end. Lovely tag end's really, really important. Leave yourself plenty to play with. Next up, the loop tire. Yeah, Centre Swans for me are the bestest loop tires. They just create a nicer loop for some reason. So anyway, got this in between these two fingers. Yeah, what I'm gonna do next is pass the next bit, doubled up, in between those two fingers. Yeah, so really, really simple. So I've got this doubled up length of line here, my tag end sticking down here, and then the rig or the main line, whatever you wanna call it, sticking down there. Really, really easy. And all I want to do, yeah, is scoop that up. So right in the corner of the loop tire here, I want to scoop that up with the entire loop tire. Yeah, pull that nice and fairly taut. Yeah, so I've got that like that. Yeah, I'm going to let go of it so you can see what I'm doing again. Yeah, scooping the lot up. Really, really, really simple, yeah. Next, I want to twist it. However many times, up to you. I tend to do one with really delicate lines, sort of 010, maybe even lighter. Uh, and two with all of the time. So with this time, with this being about 045 line, I'm gonna do twice, so it's just simple. Once, twice, done. Yeah, and it's all still in place, but you've got that twisted line just above the loop. That's what's gonna make your lovely tight knot. And the next thing, what's the best way to show you like this, is me loop. So I'm still holding on to everything, but I've got me loop, and I'm gonna put that in that little split there in between the two. Yeah, so you can see where I've done that. Let's see if I can take it out again. Yeah, it goes in there with me so all nice and tidy so same again loop over that and then what you want to do is let go of the loop but keep hold of the other two the tag end and the main line so my finger and my forefinger can let go that can slide through and i've still got hold of these other two and then all i want to do is pull it nice and tight but not too tight just yet just pull it nice and taut to gather the knot up yeah at that point i like to goz on it so a bit of spit on it at that point so i've got a nice wet knot and what i do now is push this with my thumb i push it forwards and what it'll do, it'll release from the loop. So you're just pushing it forwards, yeah? It slides off this one and the top one. I'll do that again for you in a second, just so you can see. And at that point, I give it a nice pull. I gather my main line up. I tend to put my uh, tag end in my mouth, give it a really good pull at end, just to tighten it up. And then what I'll do is I'll get my scissors, just so he looks all nice and pretty. and snip the tag end off and you end up with, it'd be a bit crooked because the line's a bit thick than what I'd like, but what you end up with is a lovely, nice little neat, perfectly done loop there. So let me just do it one more time, so we're nice and quick. As I said, make the loop in between those two fingers, double it up, gather it up, twist it around twice, through the gap, pull it down tight, push it off, all done nicely. gather it up, snip it off, and you're good to go. You have that lovely identical loop of what, like I said, eight, maybe 10 mil at a push, 
every single time. Everyone who rigs is perfect, and that loop is ridiculously strong, never ever breaks. But make sure you guys on it, make sure it's nice and lubed up so it doesn't burn the line when you do it. And other than that, that's the way of making a, a beautiful loop with these little babies. Thank you, lads. Very, very sorry to interrupt your video watching. How dare you? Quickly, if you haven't already noticed, we have managed to write a book, haven't we? Yes, we have, Which Jamie. Is full of all our very bestest methods and features or whatever else we do on this wonderful subject of fishing. So if you haven't had a look already, go and have a look at winningways.shop and buy one for yourself.